It's in a piece of visual music called Tuingalila that I simulate how complex biological growth can be achieved via simple mechanisms. My work has been inspired by Turing patterns and all the opportunities these offer for both artistic interpretation and scientific research. To start at the beginning, what was it that prompted Alan Turing's interest in biological growth? This picture gives the clue. He was more interested in watching the daisies grow than playing hockey. It was only in the last two years of his life that Turing returned to the subject that had fascinated him as a schoolboy. In 1952, in a paper submitted to the Royal Society, he explained his morphogen theory. Turing's theory is based on a chemical reaction diffusion system. Initially, it was greeted with considerable scepticism, but now it is recognized as a masterpiece of mathematical modeling. For me, it has unleashed artistic potential in the form of visual music, where I combine moving imagery with clarinet performance. With just two Turing patterns, I've succeeded in generating an immensely varied range of visual options. And it's in Typhaeus Sonata that I've found complementary patterns of notes. It's in three movements. The first movement is based on Turing's hexagonal stripe pattern. The second movement is based on Turing's hexagonal spot pattern.
In the third movement, the two patterns are combined. As you would have seen, an extraordinary diversity of forms emerges from my image sequences. It seems I've hit upon a purposeful artistic tool for simulating natural processes. Turing himself, I think, would have taken delight in such a result if only he'd had access to today's digital technology. It would have exemplified his conviction that complex biological growth can be achieved via simple natural mechanisms. But not everyone is convinced. It will take hard-nosed scientific proof to dispel scepticism towards Turing's theory. Fortunately, such proof is now emerging. Biologists are finding out what the mysterious morphogems are, and what's more, they believe they may be able to use this knowledge to improve regenerative medicine in the future. Turing was far ahead of his time, and it is only now in the post-genomic era of systems biology, that scientists are arriving at the conclusions Turing came to over 60 years ago. But the question remains, what happens next? Turing Alila is not in itself an answer, of course, but maybe it can produce a positive result by both inspiring and catalyzing further investigations into Turing's morphogen theory. So far, in giving presentations and performances to audiences around the world, I've received very encouraging responses.